Hi everyone, welcome to our latest video. Pleased to be able to show you today this really lovely looking Honda CBR 1000 RR Fireblade. And I think most motorcyclists will be uh, familiar with uh, the iconic Fireblade. Either that or you may have had your head buried in the sand for the last 25, 26 years. And I think you'll agree this looks really nice in the, uh, the solid black and gold wheels. This is an RRA, so she's a 2010 Honda Fireblade, registered in 2011. As you can see there, so she's a 2011 11 plate. And she's the second Fireblade that we've got that's covered under 8,000 miles. This one's just 7,800 miles. Three keepers in total, so two, two prior to the uh, current registered keeper on the V5. And as I say, probably one of the better colour combinations for a Fireblade in the, uh, the plain black with the gold wheels. And as I say, within that 7,800 miles, she's benefited from uh, Fairly comprehensive service history, and uh, as is usually the case, we've just serviced the bike ourselves as well. So, oil and filter, chain adjustment, uh, brake fluid, and you can also see we've fitted a brand new Pirelli Diablo Rosso Corsa. So, a nice bit of sticky rubber on there to match the front. As I say, as yet, because of the weather conditions, that's uh, that tyre has not even uh, not even turned a wheel yet, but um, be fully road tested before the new owner comes along. So those Diablo uh, Rosso courses, they're a really nice um, sticky road tyre, but they're also more than capable, as you can see from the uh, relative lack of tread on the shoulder there. A really, really capable track day tyre as well. So uh, you know, if you like. Uh, if you like your occasional foray onto the tracks as well, then um, you know this would be an awesome bike for it. Predominantly um, because it's got some really nice um, tasteful upgrades. Now, a Fireblade is no slouch straight from the uh, crate anyway. Um, this, uh, this particular engine I think MCN describe as one of the all-time great engines, which, um, you know, MCN are quite fickle and, uh, and not always the easiest people to, um, to impress. Uh, so that's a that's a pretty good accolade in my book, one of the all-time great engines. And it's a typical Japanese lump, um, you know, four-cylinder in line, 999cc, and from the factory they claim around 170 brake horsepower at the crank. Honda, of course, have never gone for the uh, you know the headline-grabbing brake horsepower figures. They've always gone for a combination of um, you know, of course, high power, but uh, but rideability as well, and and this bike's no exception. So, there's our engine sitting inside the uh, the aluminium beam frame. But uh, this bike's had the uh, the benefit of being uh, upgraded and tuned quite tastefully. As you can see there, we've got the Arrow exhaust with the DCAT link pipe. And also, to coincide with that arrow exhaust and link pipe, she's also fitted with a PCM5, so a Power Commander Module 5, which has been uh, set up and tuned to the exhaust. And we've got a dyno printout showing just under 163 brake horsepower at the wheel. So commonly, from the, uh, the factory quoted brake horsepower at the crank, we'd expect to lose between 10 and 15% through the drivetrain. So you would commonly expect one of these to, to maybe be putting out 150 at the back wheel. So whilst 163 isn't a huge improvement, or it's not a huge um, leap in brake horsepower, it's probably some 10%, but more importantly, it's been smoothed out. So we've got a lovely smooth torque and, uh, and power curve pretty much throughout the rev range and ultimately 
Um, did have the pleasure of riding this bike before we had the uh, the rear tyre fitted, um, and you can definitely feel the urgency. It's you know it's an extremely quick bike. Now she's also fitted with a Power Bronze tinted screen, which is a bubble screen as well. So again, just giving you that extra extra wind protection. And we've got this lovely Brembo 19 RCS radial mounted brake master cylinder. Obviously stopping these uh, Tokiko radial mounted brake calipers on the upside down forks. I say generally a really nice clean bike, not without the odd blemish. Uh, she is a second-hand bike, but uh, those of you that um, that know me, Essex Motorcycles, is uh, uh, we don't take lightly to um, blemishes and imperfections. But uh, you know, we do have to draw the line somewhere. This particular bike, if I just highlight some of the, I mean, it is just minor chipping really, more than anything, because we've got this low-slung arrow exhaust. You will see that uh, that there are some some stone chips to the exhaust and the arrow uh, the arrow badge that wouldn't uh, necessarily accompany a uh, conventional um, uh, you know sort of side mounted exhaust but uh, but as a rule as you can see from from the swing arm unmarked unmarked swing arm on both sides you can see we've also uh, benefited from a, a recent gold DID chain and again heel guards frame all generally in good order a couple of minor boot marks there on the uh, bottom of the subframe which uh, at some point we will get round to to touching in but again I don't think there's anything that detracts from the sort of overall cleanliness of this bike but uh, you know we are we are being uh, a little bit fussy again a couple of couple of tiny little marks there on the uh, on the left hand casing but uh, so for a seven year old bike she's in nice order and as you can see the paintwork is really nice no scuffs to the mirrors Virtually blemish-free um, nose cone there. No, no sort of chips or. The same with the front mud guard. And again, if we're being ultra fussy, just a couple of little marks on the uh, on the very edges of the of the front wheel. I say, I certainly don't think there's anything on this bike that uh, that you wouldn't find on any other seven year old fire blade but um, got some nice bits on her as well as you can see we've got two keys there and I'll just run it through its uh, for its start up you can see the instrument panel just did its self check there and just to confirm the mileage is 7853 so we'll just start her up for you Exhaust does sound really nice. She's currently fitted with a baffle. See? Haven't yet had the opportunity to listen to it without the uh, without the baffle, but I have to say she's. Uh, I think for road use, um, she's loud without being offensive, which I think is probably what the majority of us look for. Um, we don't want to uh, attract unnecessary attention, but um, they will certainly hear you coming. Really nice deep rumble when you come straight off the, off the throttle.
again, I'll just do a couple of little close-ups for you in the uh, rear shock assembly. Again, just so you can just see the general general cleanliness. Not sure if you'll actually see the spring. The uh, spring's sort of largely invisible on the uh, side of the fire blade. But So there we go, just to summarise, this is a 2011 11 plate Honda CBR 1000 double R fire blade. This is an RRA 2010 model registered in 2011 with a full service history, 7,800 miles, fitted with a 19 RCS Brembo radial master cylinder, arrow exhaust and decap pipe and a Power Commander 5 module. Just serviced by us and fitted with a brand new rear tyre and this bike's available at 6795. I hope you enjoyed the video.